Hey guys, Croopman here with episode 4 of GPU News and Rumor Roundup. Today's headlines are going to be the 4060 Ti, its rumored price and its rumored performance. Spoiler alert, they don't look good. Then we're going to follow it up with the with a follow-up report on the AMD RX 6000 series that we thought originally there was a driver causing the dies to crack. That's not the case and we'll go over that. And I want to take some time to tie both of these stories into my opinion on the current state of the GPU used market. I think that's a very important market segment and I think a lot of gamers need to consider it with the price to performance value of the current generation new GPUs being terrible and the fact that the previous gen GPUs, the production has ended on those models. And I think it's an important topic to go over, so I'm going to spend some time on that. Finally, we're going to go over the cable mod cables for the RX or for the RTX 4090. We finally have a failure and we're going to see what cable mod's response to that was. And then I'm going to share my opinion with you on it. Thank you for tuning in. I know your time is valuable, so thanks for spending it with me. Let's get to it. So videocards.com released an article on the 4060 Ti a few days ago. Uh, the two big caveats or the two big tidbits from this article is Copatite 7 basically confirmed that the 4060 Ti would have the performance of a 40 of a 3070 and in case anybody's not aware he's a very big leaker in the GPU world and he's pretty much right whenever he says something so obviously take everything here with a grain of salt but it looks like it's going to be a 4070 or it's going to have the performance of a 3070 and the perspective msrp of the card is looking at is looking like it's going to be about 499 which is not a good thing and as videocards.com goes into detail quote the price increase is now seen for almost every sku in this generation with no affordable options in sight nvidia is somehow confident that this price increase is justified yet one should be remind one should remind our readers that the rtx 4060 ti is using an ad 106 GPU attached to a 128-bit memory bus. We typically not do not see graphics cards in this price range with such a narrow bus. End quote. And all you have to do is look at the chart where they just compare the 40 and the 30 series SKUs. Now, I don't really care about the 20 series because I thought that they were garbage pricing to begin with as well. But as you can see, the price is absurd. To find out if you think this is going to sell or not, all you have to do is look at Newegg at a 4070 and you can basically have all of them. I mean, we've got MSRP ones here that nobody's buying and ones that have absurd price tags that nobody's buying. The point is, if these rumors are true and you're looking at a $500 4060 Ti, which is basically a 4070, that is not good. Now, the one silver lining is it looks like, also according to videocards.com, it will have it will use less power now i personally don't think that's that big of a deal now i know energy costs are going up but you know and less power it, it only seems like it'd be appealing to miners and i don't really think miners are going to be buying this card when there's 37 of these to be had for cheaper so this is not impressive i don't think this is going to sell i mean why would you buy this card for 500 dollars when it's basically just a refresh of the 3070 Sure, you could get DLSS three, but what what's the point? Why, like, why would you, why would you upgrade from a thirty series card, even a twenty series? If you have a twenty eighty, why would you upgrade to a forty, to a forty sixty Ti? I mean, there's there's no reason. So this one looks like, in my personal opinion, it's gonna be a dud. So the next story is an update from a previous story that the latest AMD driver was causing the GPU dies of RX 6000 series graphics cards to crack. And now that was just speculation at the time as that was the only thing in common with the cards that was known at the time. After further research, Chris Fix had also figured out one th one thing that was previously not mentioned that many of the, quote that many of the cards were sold by the same seller with a strong stipulation that these cards were previously used for crypto mining. End quote. Now the article goes on into detail explaining that they think the crypto miner that sold these cards had stored them very, very poorly in a very humid area that caused moisture to get into the dyes 
and once the GPUs were turned on and ran, it caused all the dyes to crack. The article further goes on into detail, which I want to quote. However, the main issue was not the fact that they were used for mining, as many post-mining cards are bought by gamers around the globe every day. Now, this is what I really want to go into detail with. The fact that buying cards that were used for crypto mining is not a bad thing. I That's one of my pet peeves when someone goes, I want to buy a card that was not used for mining. When, in fact, if you look at videos that Linus has done, and my own testing, and I am going to actually be doing a video on this as well, that cards used for mining or not mining does not matter. In fact, sometimes the card, sometimes when GPUs are used for mining, they actually end up in a healthier state than not than when they're not used for mining because you don't have a lot of temperature fluctuations or power fluctuations, which is one of the chief reasons for GPU degradation over time. Now, I want to folk, I want to tie these two stories in to how I think they affect the used market. Now, I really believe more than ever it is important for gamers to start looking at the used GPU market to make a statement to Nvidia and AMD as they both are unnecessarily raising the prices for this generation and the value proposition is terrible. In what world do we live in that the 4090 is literally the best value proposition in this generation compared to the last value, compared to the last generation? And the 20 series is just was just as bad. So it's almost like Nvidia didn't learn their lesson. Now anyway, my point is is that it is very important for gamers to now start looking at the used GPU market. Because if M if Nvidia is going to release a 30 Seven, or I'm sorry, a 4060 Ti at $500 MSRP for their Founders Edition. That means the AIBs are going to be higher from the $550 to the $750 range. And if you're getting 3070-like performance, why on earth would you buy one of these? When you can go on eBay and you can get them now for anywhere between, looking at the recently sold listings, anywhere from $350 to $415. Now, used prices are going up a little bit and that's naturally going to happen as the price of the new cards the new 40 series cards are going up and 30 series cards are ending production however you could you'll be able to get a card for you know 250 to 300 dollars cheaper than buying a 4060 ti when they have the same performance and all you're going to get is the lss3 now the reason I'm tying the second article in is because as you can see in this picture, it looks like a miner is selling this card. It is okay to buy cards from GPU miners. There is nothing wrong with it. However, you do need to do your due, due diligence, especially since the, especially since post-merge, there have been quite a few miners that have been shut off and just waiting for the perfect opportunity to sell or have been shut off because they bought high and they're trying to get some kind of money or waiting for the prices to go up a little bit so they don't lose out completely on their investment. I just want to make it clear that it is okay to buy used graphics cards. You just have to ask proper questions like for crypto miners, how was it stored? How long has it been off? How long has it mined? And you can kind of tell if they're BSing you or not. And I probably, what I'm probably going to do is I'm also going to do a video on how to tell if a crypto miner is telling you the truth or not from a crypto miner. Now, this will all just be opinionated and conjecture based, and you'll have to make the final decision for yourself. But that is something that will be coming along the way. Anyway, I just wanted to, again, stress the importance of the used GPU market and how I think it's time for a lot of gamers to open their eyes and to very much consider buying used GPUs, especially when you look at the price difference from a used GPU compared to what the new 40 series cards are going to look like and cost. Now the final story today comes from WCCF Tech. Cable Mods custom 12V HP WR cable for the 4090 burns up. Their company rep responds immediately. Quote, the 12V HP WR cable is a fragile thing to work with and has become standard across all NVIDIA RTX 40 series graphics cards. PSU and custom cable manufacturers such as Cable Mod went ahead to offer more durable cables, but it looks like even they can burn up if not connected properly, end quote. Now, the story goes on to just show you some pictures, and it talks. then it goes and talks about Cable Mod's response to this. Cable Mod's response, quote, 
We're very sorry about that. Please reach out to our support and we will make it right with you. Our products come with with service and we help every customer out. The card is not damaged, quote, or parentheses, we spoke to him, and parentheses, but in case our cables would damage a card, then we would replace the GPU. We have done that in the past in very rare cases where our cables have damaged something, end quote. Now, to give you my own spin on this, Gamers Nexus basically found out that the majority of these cases where a cable burned up was user error. NVIDIA confirmed this, and it seems like it it's become accepted industry-wide that this is the case. With that said, even the most durable cable, if you don't install it right, is going to have issues. Now, shameless self-plug, I've made quite a few videos on how to properly install these cables across any GPU, so take a look at them if you have any questions. But this just kind of reinforces my point that no matter what the cable, you have to make sure you install it right. Even if it's well made, you, you know, you just you just got to double double and triple check it. That's all. Now, obviously, it looks like CableMod has done a great job with reaching out to the gentleman and making sure this is fixed. But to avoid this issue, please, 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 everybody, make sure you install your cables correctly. Nobody is immune to this. NVIDIA should have designed a better adapter, but alas, here we are. So please, please, please make sure you check your cables properly. And again, shameless self-plug, go check out my videos on the subject. Make sure that you did it right. Anyway, this wraps up episode four of GPU News and Rumor Roundup. I know your time is valuable, so thank you for sharing it. Th thank you for sharing it with me. Please like and subscribe for more GPU news, crypto mining content, use GPU content, and everything. I'm trying to expand my coverage and tackle a few different directions at once. So if any of these videos interest you, please like and subscribe. It very much helps my channel. Crew man out.